Hi everybody, it is December 18, 2017 and trying to get updated information about the Thomas fire, these fires that continue to rage on in California. I am coming up with information that I read yesterday, that I read two days ago, that I read last week. So I am asking you guys who are in that area of Southern California, are you hearing anything that we are not getting from mainstream media reporting on this. Very few are posting on these fires. So there are very few videos. And the videos that I'm seeing, I don't even know if what I am seeing are, are is it from today? Is it from two days ago? Much of the information has remained the same. And yet these fires have been going on for two weeks. This is a Fox News news clip that was posted just a little while ago. And I'm playing this for one particular reason, and you will find out what the reason is after listening to this guy for a couple of minutes. Hard to believe it two weeks ago tonight is when that fire started. You know, we were here Tuesday morning on this street driving by this home and others like it firefighters dousing the homes with their water and they still weren't able to save it two weeks later you can see the destruction is just massive through here uh, about a thousand different buildings were destroyed by this fire so far uh, it's been a few days since they lost one thankfully and they're starting to get a handle on it the winds and, and the weather starting to finally get better here but for two weeks this fire has been going on now 270,000 acres the third largest in california history uh, unbelievable. It's nearly 420 square miles, almost the size of the city of San Antonio. It's 45% contained at this hour. All right. Um, did you notice that many of the figures that that guy was rattling off are pretty much the same that we have been hearing for no joke about a week? All right. Um, do you notice anything strange here? Like, uh, what is wrong with this picture? Okay. Cloth umbrella still exists. Is this a shrub? A very uh, manicured hedge along, along this house that has been gutted? I believe it is, but I could be wrong tree, dry leaves, still exist? Really? All right. This is uh, uh, unbelievable what we are living. So this video was posted, no, I'm sorry, this video was posted just a little while ago. Multi-million dollar homes in the Montecito area are reduced to ashes by the Thomas fire. Homes, plural, this was posted just a little while ago. One structure burned on property in the wealthy enclave of Montecito. Is this a clickbait? Do some exaggeration because, well, the truth is Americans, wow, they love huge disaster. But if it's just one home, why bother, right? The American psyche, more is better. So, that's, uh, we had those red flag warnings all weekend, which have been now uh, lifted. And the red flag warnings were for San Diego, Northern California, Southern California. They're all lifted. The winds have died down. Uh, the conditions are more favorable for the firefighters to fight this fire. And they're claiming that this fire will be contained by January 7. So your governor, Jerry Brown, when he said the firefighters will be fighting fire at Christmas. How did he know that? Why can't they contain these fires? Oh, those winds. That's right. Um, but now the favorable conditions and yet they still can't predict that it will be contained earlier than January 7. So this is going to go on for another two weeks. Will we read 
the same numbers. Over a thousand, over a thousand structures burned. Over a thousand structures burned. This fire out of control. Still not even 50% contained. And for two weeks, what we've been hearing, or certainly for 10 days or over a week, over a thousand structures burned. At least this California statewide fire, fire summary states it's 1,300 structures, structures, homes, businesses. When you say structures, well, what does it mean? But when you say homes and businesses, you know that there's an awful lot of Americans who are suffering the consequences. But, yeah, here we have once again the same news that we've been hearing for what? A week? Five days at least? Yeah, Oprah and Ellen's home is threatened. They're threatened. And it's, it's still the same. Okay, um, what is going on in California? When you read the same news, when you know what has happened in Houston, when our mainstream media was telling us that 35 or 40,000 homes got flooded and it was actually over a million homes that got flooded, when they keep saying, Oh, okay, here, 1,300 structures, over a 1,000, over a 1,000. What did we hear this guy say? Over a 1,000. And only two people, one firefighter and an elderly woman or a 70-year-old woman died. Only two people have died, really? Do we know that for a fact? Where are all the evacuees? Again, we have a catastrophic event without very much information, and the information with these fires does not seem to change. Now, homeowners in California, you may be losing your fire insurance policies. It's, they, they, they have so many methods in which they are using to destroy this country and to destroy Americans make them weaker and weaker. So massive out-of-season fires in Northern and Southern California are causing billions of dollars in claims and challenging expectations of when and where to expect blazes. State law gives insurers more leeway to drop coverage than to raise rates. So your rates are either going to raise or you will not have any coverage for fires. After all, your leader Governor Jerry Brown did say these fires are going to be more frequent. Well, insurance companies will drop their policies. They won't cover for fire. Then what are you going to do, guys? That certainly creates a lot of insecurity in Californians, I would suspect. And, well, if you can't get fire coverage and your leader has told you these fires are going to be more frequent. You're going to have a hard time selling your home. And then you'll live, you know, with this, whether it's conscious or unconscious, this little bit of anxiety. Oh my God, my home goes up. I lose everything and I'm not covered. The LA Times just posted this. Good morning and welcome to the Essential California Newsletter. Yeah, it's Monday, December 18, and here's what's happening across California. This is the uncomfortable question. Ready? More than 10,000 homes have been destroyed by wildfire this year, and I bet it's more than that. But 
hard hit communities like Santa Rosa and Ventura, they're looking ahead to recovery. But with the frequency and cost of catastrophic blazes climbing, some experts say state and local officials need to look at compensating property owners to not rebuild in high risk areas or discouraging development there in the first place. Yep. What does FEMA do after these catastrophic events? It buys people's property. This is what has taken place. It took place in 2011. The deliberate flooding of what a million acres of prime farmland in Missouri that left farmers unable to use their farmland for years because the flooding was so massive for years. So FEMA swoops in and buys that land pennies on the dollar. They do it after a lot of catastrophic events. They're doing it in Houston. Is FEMA coming to California to buy up those who have lost homes in these fires? Pennies on a dollar. Considering that this goes on and on and on, you would think that Americans would begin to uh, face reality of what is taking place here. They deliberately destroy areas. Then they don't want you rebuilding. Or they make it so costly to rebuild that people leave these areas. Then they have a reduction in population and it is the the reshaping of California under agenda 2030 six years pretty much saying the same thing gets tedious okay ultra low frequencies check it out Montana obvious 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 this is not how Mother Nature works. She does not work in very defined lines. As you can see, the precipitation clearly defined ultra low frequencies being set off in Montana in two different places, as well as just north of Seattle. We've got ultra low frequencies. They use ultra low frequencies for what? weather modification. They can induce, er, induce earthquakes, but they also use them for mass mind control. TARP, ELF generation, mass mind control. Extremely low frequency waves, ELF waves up to 100 hertz or off at once more naturally occurring, but they can also be produced artificially. ELF waves are not normally noticed by the unaided senses, yet their resonant effect upon the human body has been connected to both physiological disorders and emotional distortion. They can subliminally influence brain activity they can create alertness or they can create passivity. It could be used in conjunction with media broadcasts as well. I will link below to this article. But what is this? The Jim Creek, Washington, very low frequency, a transmitter. Where is this? This is, oh, just north of Seattle, Naval Radio Station, Jim Creek, KVA Electric, and you've got ultra-low frequencies just north of 
Seattle. But clear ultra low frequencies being set off in Montana as well. And we've got some in Portland or in Oregon. All right. I would really, uh, considering that these fires have been going on <laughs> for two weeks and they claim that these fires will not be contained until uh, January 7 but what I'm reading is pretty much the same information that I've been reading for a week something is very wrong here and again I'm going to put out I've not been able to find that news clip that showed military on the street, barriers up, military keeping people out of their neighborhoods. And yet I'm reading mainstream media, they claiming that people are being let back into their neighborhoods, back to their homes, even those homes that have some damage and yet what did we see in Northern California the police keeping people from their homes due to how toxic it was and so we're to believe that these fires are not toxic when we've heard that they are toxic when we've seen police already escort escort people back into their homes their homes completely untouched these people were allowed one hour to collect items from their homes and then the police escorted them back out to shelters, I guess. It's conflicting information. And we all know that the numbers that we read in mainstream media are greatly reduced reality is that the numbers are staggeringly high so if any of you out there in Southern California know something that we don't please pass that information along and I do hope that all of you stay safe all of you in Southern California who have been evacuated, I hope to God that nothing happens to your homes.